Okay, so one of the first things I think we should learn is how to do type. So I'm going to click on this headline here. And uh, I, I do shift, no, option, right arrow. See that? Options is a great thing to do. So, and you just go like that. So let's see, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put it back in a little bit. And that's how you do that. So I'm pulling this out a little bit, put it back in. It's also great. Once again, it's option arrows. It's good for that too. That's, and that's how you do that. Now, if you want to do the uh, line spacing, highlight it, up and down arrows. This is really important. I don't know how to do that. That's option, once again, up and down arrows. All right. So that's that technique. Now let's go into Photoshop. I did a screenshot of uh, some of the prism blues. Actually, I didn't get the prism blues because the photography for prism blues was so terrible that I didn't use that. So I just got, I went on to some other sites. This is actually a $500 jacket. And what I like to do here is go to layers. And then this is how you make a silhouette and a ping file. So I'm going to sit down and do another layer. This is important. And that layer is completely transparent. I'm going to put it down below. So now it's below the photograph. And then I go in here, my tool, grabber tool here. I'm going to go back up to layer one. And then I highlighted everything. And I'm just going to delete it. There you have it. Now this has a shadow on it. And I could, I'm not going to spend time trying to get into all that. Let's see, I can get rid of the shadow. And another way of getting rid of the shadow is use the lasso tool. And I just use straight lines for this. And is the lasso tool working here? Yeah, here we go. Okay. I usually use a straight line here with this. But right now, because of time, I'm just going to do a quick, dirty. Um, there you go. Done. All right. So you got to have this layer below it. Otherwise, it will not be transparent as a ping file. Go up. Uh, export. Uh, let's see. Save as. I could do a save as. I'm going to save it to my computer. And thinking. So I'm going to make it a ping file. PNG. I'm going to call this test uh, dot PNG. It's got to be a ping file. I'll put it in the Prism Blues folder. Boom. I got it. So there's how you do it in Photoshop. Now I'm going to grab this photo, which I just did. And I'm going to put it into, let's see here. Let's see if I can get the file. Or the file. Uh, let's see here. Text, test, PNG. Where is it? Oh, test PNG. Here we go. I'm click and drag it. Goes right in. All right. So it's transparent, but I can't get the copy to go around it. So how do we get the copy to go around it? So I'll go up to here. Object. Oh, let's see. Let's see. No. Okay. Let's see here. Clipping path. Clipping path. Options. So it's transparent, but your copy will go right over it. So I'm going to go in here to detect edges. And you can see they got, they got a path now around this silhouetted object. You can throw this this way or that way to get closer and further away. I'm just going to do this very quickly here. And now it's a clipping mask that's been put on it. So I'm going to take this file. It's now transparent, and it has a clipping mask. I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to put it over here. And there you have that. Okay. So now let's put some copy in here. I'm going to put some uh, text in here and click and drag this. And I'm going to go in here, text tool. I'm going to go up here to type and fill with placeholder text. And there you have it. Now I'm going to right click, text frame options. I'm going to go into here. I, this is the uh, number of columns. I'm going to make it three. So there you have it, three columns. Okie dokie. So there you have that. 
now I'm going to take this and actually I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to make another text box. I'm going to put it up in here and I'm going to fill with pl placeholder. Okay, but I'm not going to do that right now because guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to click on this on this box and I'm going to click on this little box down here and I'm going to connect it to this box. So let me see if I can do that again. Maybe I can do it with this. Hit this and then put it into this box. So let's see if I can do uh, get rid of this. Put in placeholder text. And now it's going into both boxes. Let me clean this out a little bit. I got two boxes here. Here we go. So once again, there's something underneath there. What's going on with that? There's some square in here or something. What's going on there? Yep, there's something in there. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so now I got these two boxes. I'm going to go once again here. I'm going to right click and uh, text frame options. I'm going to do three columns. And there you have it. So now these two these two columns here, these two text boxes are now connected to each other. And so if I do something to this box, I'm going to do command A, I'm going to do shift once again, shift down arrow, and now I get some open letting on that. And you have that low uh, line spacing. And so there you have that. All right, so now I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to do command arrow, and it's going to see this command, command, uh, it's click, I mean. So if I want to grab this thing, it's behind the text. I do command click, and now I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to arrange this and bring it to the front. Okay, now text wrap. You can't find text wrap. You go up to window and text wrap is right there. You can also get an arrangement uh, workspace. You can get it in topography. So here's my text wrap. It's over here. I'm going to grab text wrap with this highlighted text wrap. Now, you got several. This is with a square, and this is if you want copy to wrap around the object shape. So I'm going to click that. And now I'm going to take this here and make a little lot wider. See how the copy is going around it now? That's how you do that. Okie dokie. So I'm wrapping the copy around a little closer. All righty. So there you have that. So let's put a square in here picture so here's the picture let's just take one of these pictures and throw it in there and i'm going to throw this in here and once again go to text wrap now this time instead of an object with a circle you hit this here it's a square and this is interesting you can do it from above so i can see that went up up, up. or i can make it larger from below or shorter than from below. See how I get the space there? So I'm going to a little shorter. And you can also get the text wrap uh, up to the side. See, I'll put it over, put it a little closer. And then the right side, you can do the same thing. And that's text wrap. And that's how you do that. Drop caps. Now, how do we do a drop cap? Well, first of all, I'm going to break this into paragraphs. So I'm going to do a double here let's get some nice spacing in here whenever you do that make sure you have you know a cap when you do your next headline because that's the way it should be done it doesn't give it to you when you do it like that now so how do we do a drop cap let's go to paragraph styles it's right here if you have trouble with that go to window workspace once again typography so i'm going to go to par uh, paragraph style. So I really like to put a, um, a drop cap in here. So I'm going to grab this paragraph and I'm going to do a, a new paragraph style. Double click on it. Now go down here to drop caps and nested styles. So how many lines do you want to drop cap to be? Well, I want it to be two because I got a lot of line spacing in here. So I'm going to make it two 
and it's going to be just one character. I just want this first character. You see how it's drop capped automatically, which is amazing. Now I can make it two characters, or I can now make it three lines, or just, you know, let's make it four lines. See that? And that's how you determine how big your drop cap is. For this, I'm going to, because it's the line spacing is so large, I'm just going to make it one. And then now I have that. It's all, it's all put in there. And I'm going to click OK. And now it's been done. So there's my drop cap. I'll double click on the eye and I'll go into my type. And I think I was using uh, Mystic for this. So Mystic, Mista, that's it. I'm going to make it Mista, hit that. And then now you got the fancy eye. So I'm going to click this. Let's see if I can get in command click. I'm going to try to make highlight this, make it a little bit bigger you want uh, option arrow bring it down or op actually not it's option control arrow could bring it down and, and there you have it so i made it a little bit bigger and then i'm gonna grab here and i'm gonna grab swatches and make it that blue and there you have it okie dokie so that pretty much shows you how to do silhouettes on a, on a square picture, picture, how to take a, an object in Photoshop, make a ping file out of it, bring it in here, do the clipping mask, and there you have it. How to take the two boxes here, get the columns, three as opposed to two or one, and then open up the spacing. And that should be it. So that's the skill set that I think we should go over today.